Hey there guys, it's Tom, and um, today I thought I would show you how to port forward using Windows Firewall, since the, uh, what the, the scenario I'm using here is basically that you don't have a, a router at all, you just have your computer and your Windows Firewall, so literally that, I mean, as in like, literally that Windows firewall is the only thing that is protecting you from hackers and so forth. So what you want to do, this is Windows 7 that you're doing it on. Well, what I'm showing you on. Um, you want to come down to where it, it says Action Center. This is just the quickest way to get to it. Then click on Action Center. Then you want to go to System and Security. Click on Windows firewall. Just excuse me a second. There we go. And then what you want to do is click on advanced settings. Now, the reason why I, I didn't bother doing this with FileZilla is because I have a router firewall as well as Windows firewall. So really, it, it, it's, um, it's alright for me to say just allow a program or feature through Windows firewall. Because when you do that, it means that the program can listen on any port and if a hijacker or something just somehow takes control of your computer using that program well pretty much you just I, I don't know you, you, you know you're doomed so it's better to have a much more stricter rule if Windows firewall is the only firewall protecting you so yeah so after that uh, little rant <laughs> Uh, you want to click on advanced settings so here um, I'm going to use FileZilla as an example but you can do this with any port for any program that you may need for it to uh, listen on so you want to go to inbound rules and then you want to go to new rule and then what you want to do is select port click next then it's going to be either TCP or UDP depending on what program you, you want and then you want to say um, specific local ports and then you want to put in the port in this case 21 for FileZilla and TCP for FileZilla but what it, uh, it will differ on whatever program you are using and then what you want to say if your port forwarding is you just want to say allow the connection no matter what because um, you know it's a bit in inconvenient if this is a server that you're setting up and it's only going to do it if it's secure so you just want to say allow the connection then you want to untick public okay because that's just going to be really really unsafe you know so you only want domain and private no public then you definitely definitely want to put in the description so you know what it is so files are the server uh, so that you can put that as the name description whatever you want my server and then click finish and then that's it really so uh, yeah um, if we just go along here that that's the rule that I've just added in so yeah and these are the rules that or in there because I said allow anything. Okay. Um, oh, that's the properties of it. So yeah, uh, when when you say allow, when you just go to say allow a program, um, it comes up with this. As you can see, it just says any port. But here, because we've actually defined it, it allows any uh, only twenty only port twenty one. Okay. So yeah. That's pretty much it for this video really. I will be doing another one in a minute I think. So yeah. I hope you I hope this helped you and I hope you all have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye bye.